big picture, I'm trying to get you guys to be able to build direct formulas for arithmetic sequences, same as we were doing last week. But this time, there's going to be some gaps, some missing pieces, some missing information. And the question is, can you still build the formula? Now, my first crew of students who I introduced this to, apparently, uh, this was a little rough. Uh, there's a whole lot of moving parts. So what I'm actually going to do moving forward is break this lesson into two separate lessons. You're only going to be responsible for building half of a formula this class. Your form for your formula, you need to determine a count. What are we counting by? And an adjustment. All right, we're going to focus on the count part this week, and then we'll focus on the adjust part next week. So you're going to have incomplete answers this week. Before you got to see figure number one, two, three, four, you got to see the progression of shapes as they're building. Right now, we've got some gaps. Okay, we only know what pattern or figure number five, nine, and 20 look like. We don't know what came before them. We don't know what comes between them. But what we do know is that we're counting by the same amount each time. It's going to be an arithmetic sequence. So even though I don't know what pattern 6 and 7 and 8 look like, I know that whatever I'm counting by is consistent. So if I'm counting by 3s, I'm always going to count by 3s. If I'm counting by 8s, I'm always going to count by 8s. If I'm counting by 10s, I'm always going to count by 10s. And what your job this week is, is to figure out what are we counting by to get from one figure to the next. So let me actually find out how many squares are in pattern 5. 1, 2, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 squares make up pattern 9. Okay? Now, here, here comes our question. How many more squares do I have? from figure 5 to figure 9. And that answer is simply found by subtraction. 33 minus 13. I have 20 extra squares moving from figure 5 to figure 9. I want to split this 20 into how many steps am I taking to get from pattern 5 to pattern 9. So from 5 to 6, that's one step. 6 to 7, that's 2. 7 to 8, that's 3. 8 to 9, that's 4 steps. And again, I could just find that by a subtraction. 9 minus 5 equals 4. 4 steps. Okay? If I'm making 4 steps to get from 5 to 9, and I've got 20 extra squares, how many extra squares do I get for just 1 step? That's going to be 20 divided by 4, or... Five extra squares per one step. That's what I'm counting by. Fives. All right, 13 plus 5. That would mean pattern 6 has 18 squares in it. 18 plus 5. Pattern 7 has 23 squares in it. 23 plus 5. Pattern 8 has 28 squares in it. 28 plus 5. Pattern 9 has 33 squares in it. Okay, see how that works? Notice, I didn't even need to consider pattern 20. I only needed two, two sets of data to get this. Then, my formula is 5 times the pattern number plus something equals my total number of squares. And you can stop there this week. All right, next week we're going to figure out what the something is. Repeating that process here. Slightly different context, same idea. We know what term 17, the value of term 17, the value of term 20. We don't know this information, so I can't use it. We don't know this information, so I can't use it. Okay, again, I want to ask myself, moving from one of these items that I know to another one, what change am I making? What change am I making? I'm adding 9 to the value, okay? But that's not what I'm counting by. I'm not counting by 9s because I've got gaps in here. 18, 19, 20. 
I'm taking one, two, three steps to have a value change of plus nine. So what is each step worth? What am I counting by for just one step? Nine divided by three is we're counting by threes. Okay, now I wanna, I wanna, I wanna show you something because again, we didn't use this guy over here, but I could have. What's the distance from 45 to 90? I'm adding 45, I'm doubling. How many steps am I taking to get from 20 to 35? Shortcut to figure out how many steps there are is just subtract. We're making 15 moves to get from 20 to 35, okay? How much is each one of those 15 steps worth if the total value that I'm adding is 45? Each one of those steps is worth three. All right, same number that I got before. So we're counting by threes for this arithmetic sequence. And that means our formula, our direct formula, is going to be value equals three times the term number plus some adjustment. And again, we're going to figure out how to deal with that adjustment next week. Again, same kind of thing, same kind of thinking, slightly different setup. Question is, what am I counting by with my outputs? What am I counting by? I'm going to need, again, I'm going to need two locations that I know that I know everything about. So I can't use this middle piece because I'm missing information there. I could say, how far is it from 14 to 17? How many steps am I taking to get from 14 to 17? I'm taking three steps. When I'm taking those three steps, what is my output changing by? Now notice, this time it's going down, not up. So I'm going to call this negative. We're going down 24. So if I'm going down 24 in three steps, how far down am I going with each one step? That'll be down eight. I'm counting down by eight. So my formula is going to be output equals negative eight times input plus some adjustment. I'm going to show you once again, I can use any pair of items to get this answer. And I should get the same answer no matter what. So if instead I use the first row and the last row, all right, what's the distance from 175 down to 55? That'll be down 120. What's the distance from 2 to 17? How many steps am I taking to get from 2 to 17? I'm taking 15 steps. 17 minus 2 is 15. Now if I divide, grabbing a calculator, if I divide, hopefully, that means each of my one step should come out as the same answer I got before. Alright, and it does. Each time, we're counting down 8. Every time we take one step, we're dropping 8. Formula, y equals negative 8x plus and this adjustment that you're going to work on figuring out next week. Now you're welcome to try to figure out what the adjustments are, how to get them this week. I'd love it if you can figure that out. Uh, if you do find the adjustments, then you could also use the formulas to find these missing, these gaps, this green square right here. So that's ultimately where, where we're trying to head with this topic.